part of our mini interview series, So Why Science? And we're here today with uh, Bart Thunder, who will be speaking at the Planet Earth event at the Pint of Science in May. Uh, Bart, do you want to tell us a few words about you and what you do before I start firing questions at you? Um, I'm Bart, and I'm originally from the Netherlands, uh, where I grew up and studied biology, and then um, became a a uh, science teacher at the secondary school, high school, and then um, I became a PhD student here and I work on microbes that can eat carbon monoxide and then produce ethanol. So. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Um, so, how did you become interested in science? I think I always was interested in science, like a, my earliest memories are about a guy who being uh, interested in science. I think it was three or so. But oh. I probably didn't know it was science back then. I was just like interested in nature and finding things out and things like that. But uh, what I really wanted to be at, at that age was actually uh, an astronaut. Oh, but to become an astronaut, you need to do, you can just, there were back then just two routes. One is being a jet uh, uh, fighter pilot or um, be um, a scientist. So actually I decided to become a jet fighter pilot, but then my glasses happened and then you cannot become a jet fighter pilot anymore. So then I That's thought, strange. okay, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to try to become a scientist. Okay, so it was your second option. <laughs> yeah, but it was not because of lack of interest. Okay. It's, of yeah. Did you ever uh, did you ever fly in a jet pilot? Uh, jet, uh, sorry, in a, in a jet fighter, those are amazing machines. So. No, I've never had. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. Why did you choose biology then? I think because I'm interested in origins of things and uh, very general uh, processes. And then uh, the origin of life is one of the big questions in science still left. We actually have a few good ideas, but don't know it exactly. And um, so I'm really much interested in uh, life as a process. So yeah, then you have to study chemistry or biology. Okay. So biology was. Um, is there, was there a turning point in your life that was very like a defining moment for you as a scientist? Well, I'm just a PhD student, so basically uh, becoming a PhD student. Okay, so yes, so yes, I think that's the, the defining moment in life. I'm, I I'm, I moved to England and looked for a PhD position. And actually, that year I I moved from the Netherlands to England. Before I was teaching, I was a PhD student, and I became a dad as well in almost the same year. Uh, so, oh. if there is one turning point in my life, that's it. That was it, all yeah. together. All together in one that's year. That's very exciting. About, yeah. um, do you have any person that you aspire to, a scientist maybe, or someone else? There are, so many, there are so many great scientists, but I think if I love one most, then it's probably Charles Darwin. Okay. Well, was, origins of life. And yeah, exactly. Is that why? But also because he had this personal struggle. He always tried to be a decent guy. Uh, his personal struggle with with how how he should do the science, and he he did all these small experiments. And he did. He if, if everyone remembers him only because of the uh, of the origin of species, because he did. But he did so much more, and uh, he just uh, was just try to be a good guy. Uh, and being really interested in almost everything, which I'm, I'm also. He was also outside of uh, the the biological science. He was interested. In, uh, cool. I didn't know that about yeah. Darwin. Thanks. Um, so, what's the most unexpected thing you've learned along your way? In science. What's I think let's along say your way yeah, exactly. as a scientist, maybe. Um, most unexpected thing I learned. Well, actually, the most unexpected thing uh, I learned um, was right in the first week was that uh, how fairly simple it is to take a bottle of some salts, uh, some water, and put uh, a, a few uh, bars of carbon monoxide, which is like the most poisonous, all one of the most poisonous uh, things that I, I knew about. Lots of people die about it, they don't die from it almost yeah. every year. I put it in a bottle and I add one or three, uh, one or a few uh, bacteria and then they start to grow with this stuff. 
and I thought it would be hard, but it's actually very, very simple. Working with this bacteria is not very simple. There are many things which make it hard to work with this bacteria, but just the growing of it is actually not so hard. And I expected that to be like, wow, growing mm. stuff on carbon monoxide. I, before I started it, yeah. I thought it, it sounded like something very hard and dangerous. And it's actually something I do almost every day. And the first week I yeah. actually found it. Well, it's, it's, it's not a scientific discovery because we no. already found out to do this years ago. I just didn't know about it personally. I, th I thought it was something hard. Well, I guess they're still different to us, like these microorganisms that you're working with. So everything is possible yeah, so nature. O oxygen is a poison for them. I yeah. al already knew this, but I thought getting rid of the oxygen was hard. Even then, yeah. well, it's a problem, but you, you can do it if you have the right equipment. Cool. So science fascinates you still, I yeah. guess. Yeah. 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 Um, so if you were not a scientist, and not an astronaut and not a jet uh, flight uh, fighter, uh, what would you do? I would go back to teaching. But because I already did that, I think I should answer something else. I think I would organize something or go do some li like NGO work or politics or, or something like that. Okay. Try to better the, the humanity, world. the better the world, yeah. Instead of just the microorganisms. <laughs> I, I think yeah. science is the most important yeah. thing, and then teaching. So I would at first we want to be a scientist, and if the, if I if if that fails or if I am done with that, then I want to become a teacher again. But yeah, if those two jobs I cannot choose, then uh, yeah, I think I'm sure it won't fail. So exactly. you never also, probably exactly, have yeah, to also. choose. Um, so, what is the best piece of advice you have been given by someone else? Um, Focus, don't do everything at the same time. <laughs> I tend to do lots of experiments yeah, and they, 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 they try to multitask, that doesn't work. I still try it though. Yeah. And then often it works best if I just do one experiment per week, which is a very little bit. And, and because we have a slow growing organism, it, it, it's, it's, you actually do very little work, but at least the most time it works. So patience and one thing at a time. Yeah, That's which is very, very not my nature. Yeah, my nature is doing lots of things at the same time. Oh wow! Yeah. And uh, and then uh, yeah, but that's not that often the experiments fail. So I, that's an, uh, an advice I still um, need to hear every day almost. And I'm I'm learning. I'm doing it better and better. Oh well, that's but, the whole but, point. But, but, mm -hmm. but I'm not there yet. <laughs> you will get there. Yeah. Um, three words that describe your character. I am uh, curious, interested in everything, so curious, enthusiast, and chaotic. Chaotic. Chaotic is not really the best word. No, let's change that last one to social. Social. Yeah. Sounds like a good scientist to me. So you will be with us in May. Thank you so much for the interview. Uh, if you want to find out more about Pint of Science and our mini interview series, stay tuned. Uh, follow us in our social media. And of course, we are looking forward to seeing you in May. Bye. Uh -uh.